another day another interesting peripheral to look at for today we have this beautiful rocket vulcan keyboard you guys know me i'm a huge fan of peripherals different keyboards different mice different headphones so i love to review these and we're going to look at this one today but before that a word from our sponsor this video is sponsored by bob keys and bob keys is one of my personal favorite websites when i want to go and purchase a license for game or software their catalog is quite big steam games origin games you play games also playstation games for those of you that are on consoles and of course software licenses for windows and office you guys know me i test and build a lot of computers just building a new computer right now bob keys has team up with me and we are giving up 25% off of every license you want to purchase hey guys welcome back to hardware sense channel my name is Ivan as mentioned for today we are going to look at this Rocat Vulcan keyboard and this is one of those that kind of piqued my interest uh, browsing the internet I kept my eye on them for a while I wanted to see how is this keyboard going to stack against the plethora of other mechanical keyboards I have and this one features red keys just like the ones I prefer among all the other models I have so this is going to be a long-term test for me I'm going to replace my current Red Dragon keyboard with this one and see how it's going to stack throughout the time playing games and just everyday work with that keyboard Rollcat obviously it's a big name uh, much much bigger than most of these other keyboards you've seen so far on my channel and uh, Hopefully they're bringing a lot of quality to the table. I know the price tag is a little bit higher on this one, talking about about $120, $130 compared to 40 for the Red Dragon or pretty much the other ones I have. So this is four times more expensive. Is it justified? Is it worth spending all that money? We're gonna find out. And is it four times better, like I said, or not? There's some interesting features on this one. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and do the unboxing. We're gonna do a little quick preliminary test. And of course, at the end, we're gonna talk about in the conclusion. Vulcan TKL. I was super excited about this keyboard to come. I'm very curious to see what kind of quality they're gonna offer on this one. I know Rockat is a very good company. And what we have on the top is the picture of the product and uh, the technology behind the mechanical switches. We have red. Titan switch, linear mechanical switches. Uh, they emphasize that all over the place. I guess that, that's a very good thing. Uh, and if we flip it around, we'll see some of the other features they outline. Again, we have the Titan switches, detachable USB cable, that is awesome. Dedicated volume, that's amazing as well. Love that feature. And you'll see some of the other things that are outlining. Competitive form factor, media controls, robust design patent pending king stabilizing technology on board tournament profile whatever that is amo intelligent lining engine i guess that's something they have advanced anti-ghosting fingertip shaped keycaps so a lot of good stuff and a picture of some dude mr savage i'm not playing fortnite but those of you that play fortnite probably know who he is competitor fortnite i guess once we open it very nice fact and what we have on the bottom first we have nice big rubber feet and they're rubberized not only on the top when you have them down but when you extend them as well we have rubber feet and we have three large sticky rubber feet on the bottom very very nice and usb-c right in the middle ideally i would have loved this to be off to the side somewhere or at least you'll be able to channel the cable around but uh, we'll see how that goes and here is the top of it most of it is made out of this abs plastic just the top of it uh, is this aluminum brushed aluminum the volume knob has it's not smooth it has a little bit of resistance kind of clickiness so maybe that's better we'll check that out and these key designs are very interesting you'll see how it's not a full key the base is completely clear and just the top of the key comes off you'll see how small and tiny it is compared to some of the other keys that are covering the whole uh, base of it and hopefully these top keys last longer they don't get shinier or rub off with over time quick installation guide multiple languages including english that's great button functions explanations and right here we have the usb c cable usb a to usb c bundle up with this hook and loop strap usb c 
that plugs in and on the other side rowcat logo and keyboard that's very useful by the way if you have multiple things on the back of your computer these kind of markings will tell you exactly what cable is going for what uh, so that's nice and uh, lengthwise it's about six feet so that's my preferable uh, length shorter than these it's a bit uncomfortable but let me see plug it in here very nice fits perfectly but yeah so far i'm pretty impressed with the quality we'll plug it in how see how it looks in the computer and we're gonna go to the conclusion so here's the rollcat vulcan plugged it into my desktop first thing first it's a bit odd how the keys are spaced out and because the base is not the classic one like in the back uh, but these tiny little uh, caps um, but we'll see how how my typing is gonna get affected is gonna be better or worse uh, hopefully there will be no change uh, in, in this perspective and it's going to be still very comfortable to type on some of the functions let's go through real quick if we hit uh, fn and and the right control you'll see the lights go off again turning them back on fn and dell you see dell now the delete button is now white so that will make the f 9 10 11 and 12 dedicated media buttons so you can use those uh, like that turning it off and one of the most important things here with this keyboard we have this volume knob that turns up and down the volume i really really like this dedicated volume because the combination of fn and another key on the other keyboards it's a bit annoying when you have to do it in game and we have dedicated mute button here unfortunately it doesn't change color when you mute and unmute so you got to keep an eye on the screen or in your sound the other thing we have function key and and this will swap the windows key function and the actual function key so now function key is my windows key and the windows key is the function this is helpful in gaming obviously when you don't want those accidental presses on the windows key while your gaming throws you off the game uh, you know obviously causes your life sometime in game uh, so that's a great function and another one here fn and page down this activates game mode uh, one thing to notice once you activate a game mode the caps lock key no longer functions it's just a regular key uh, and once you deactivate it you'll see the caps lock turning white and back to red when you activate it not too many rgb modes here we have this solid kind of yellow towards red color transition and if we click on the function you'll see now we have this effect kind of a wave moving from left to right and another strike here now it's going to move from right to left same thing same colors that's about it there's no other effects there's no other waves changing colors you can only adjust the brightness with up and down and the function key so function and up and down that will make it brighter up and down it's going to be dimmer I'm most likely going to keep it on the solid color all the time or even turn it off during the day but at night I like that effect so I can see the keys not that bad so this is the brightness you'll see how the brightness goes up and up and up and up see what the brighter option is this is the brightest and this is extremely 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 bright I'm not sure if the camera picks it up but even during the day it's very bright and if I lower it down to about uh, let's see that probably will be my brightness level right here so yeah we'll see how it's gonna perform in the long term so far uh, it's it's gonna take a little bit of a uh, getting used to with those keys other than that function wise I like it it's not uh, anything crazy but at the same time you gotta think about it it's four times more expensive than this one over here uh, so is it four times better uh, where we're yet to see and hopefully it is better but uh, it doesn't justify that 120 over 120 dollar price uh, compared to what less than 40 for the dragon uh, we'll see all right so let's jump into the conclusion all right conclusion time and what do i think on my first look installation and kind of first couple of days of testing on the rocket vulcan first of all i really really like the size of it that's my favorite size this is the keyboards i normally prefer this compact keyboards without the numeric keypads when you have multiple keyboards on your desk obviously the smaller they are 
the better they can fit better for me that personally works great red keys are fairly quiet a little bit louder compared to some of my other keyboards but they're kind of in the middle of the pack at the same time i'm very curious how these keys are going to stack over time it's a bit awkward and odd uh, typing on them initially to get used to it because it's not a full keycap it's just the top of it uh, that's the design that Rollcat are pushing with this model uh, the other thing, those of you that really, really love RGB modes and different waves and breeding modes and all that stuff, you're going to be a little bit disappointed here because we have uh, two different modes of waves and then we have one solid color. Well, sort of solid because it's kind of transitioning from yellow to red, but still, um, those are the options you have. You can increase and decrease the brightness and you can uh, speed it up and slow it down. And of course, you can turn them all off, but that's it. No more other options and you guys know much much cheaper keyboards have um, you know 20 30 different modes you can choose from so take it the way it is i think for the money they should have offered uh, more and more options there's a couple of interesting features swapping the placement of the key the windows key with the function key that's useful in gaming i can definitely see that uh, being used by myself as well and that game mode there's not much of explanation on their user guide what's the gaming mode going to do but once i start gaming more i will turn it off and on and see if that kind of improves or, or or doesn't improve my gaming or the responsiveness or whatever it is going to be hopefully makes a difference in games would i recommend that as of now um probably not because it's way too expensive if you really like your peripherals to be brand name and kind of more well-known name sure go ahead and grab it uh, i think the price right now is about 120 130 dollars uh, but if i'm personally buying it for myself right now to use for a long time and i don't have another keyboard i'm probably going to go with something cheaper around 30 40 dollars like i mentioned there's a tons of different brands and i have a couple ones that i'm going to review very soon from ajaz uh, the red dragon is an okay option as well a couple of other ones you guys seen on my channel so there's definitely options out there that are much much cheaper and they're going to do a fairly good job for you um, this one the only major kind of difference and feature for me is that uh, volume knob and that dedicated mute button those are nice addition but that do they cost uh, so much more money to integrate i don't think so but yeah that's it hit the thumbs up if you like the video stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you're new Hit that bell notification to get notified for every single review coming your way. Support me directly. All the links are in the description of the video below. And until next time, guys, you have a wonderful day.